Today we're going to focus in on 42 on the General Curriculum Math Subtest 03. This is for um, elementary school teachers and special education teachers in grades K through 12 that are preparing to get their licensure um, for teaching and they have to take this uh, required exam in the state of Massachusetts. But this is also a really good problem and a set of problems to study if you're a teacher preparing to take your math uh, certification exam. Um, in, on the elementary, middle school, and high school level, you know whether it's Massachusetts or another state, these uh, these questions and these problems are really good ones to uh, take a look at and look at the math behind them. So uh, we're going to focus now on 42, and this is in the data analysis section. So I want to point out some details before we begin. First off, what makes this a data analysis? Well, we're going to be looking at information um, that has meaning and meaning where it's, it's collected data represented on a, a graph, a chart, you know, a pie, could be a pie chart, could be a bar chart, um, could be a distribution chart, a variety of different ways to represent the data. So you want to make sure that you uh, are able to, you have, you're familiar with these different type of ways to present data. Um, in this one right here, it looks like we're looking at test scores and we're looking at, as we, let's say, this, this point right here, this says 10 people got, um, how many people got a score of 10? Two people. This event, the score of 10 happened two times. So that's our, our frequency of this event. So we're going to be looking at this and studying what this means based on what the question asks. And then the second thing I really want to point out is the answers. Well, this is a you know, data probability statistics section, and this is, a, you know, our, our data and statistics section here. But our answers are in percents, which means you really need to know the basics, your fractions, decimals, percents, and understanding of part to whole. You really have to have that foundation down. Because if you miss that in the number, sense, and operations sections of your, uh, of your studies, get to a problem like this, it's in the data analysis section, the, the statistics section, but you know what? You're not going to be able to solve it because when it comes down to these core math skills, you're going to you might make a mistake. So don't when you see this, this is an indication that you want to go back and brush this up if you're not 100% sure on it. So let's start. First, let's read the problem. Use the diagram below to answer the questions that follows. Distribution of test scores. And then we have this uh looks like two different distributions of girls and boys and then we have a, the scores below and the frequency of those scores um, so it looks like two boys and two girls both got a 10 one boy got a 1 I mean one boy got a 20 four girls got a 20 and then so forth as this goes along the graph above shows the distribution of scores on a test with possible scores of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. The minimum passing score was 40. 20 girls and 20 boys took the test. The percentage of girls passing the test was how much greater than the percentage of boys passing the test? Uh, this is a great problem. I love this problem. There's two, two portions here. There's one you got to deal with the, the distribution, the, the data, and look at these scores in terms of uh, a look at this graph and make sense of it. The other question is definitely a fraction, a part to whole uh, question dealing with fractions, decimals, and percents. So two core math skills. Well, we're told that 40 is the passing grade. So let's first take a moment and, and let's look at uh, how the girls did. I'm going to put the girls in this color here. Now how many girls, if I'm thinking about this from a fraction perspective, what's our part to whole relationship here? Well, if we're focusing on girls, we know that there are 20 girls that make up our whole. Now what por portion of them passed? 40 is the passing score, so let's see. How many girls got 40? Five girls got 40. Six girls got six, uh, 50, and uh, four girls got 60. Nice job. So collectively, I add these up, 
I get a total of 15 out of 20. Now 15 out of 20, can I right away turn that to a percent, a fraction decimal percent? If I'm good, yeah. But maybe I need a little, I need to rework this. There's two ways I could do this. I could reduce it, and then I would get something like 3 fourths. And then I might be able to say 3 fourths, I know what 3 fourths is. Um, but here's another way, and it works just as well. I make this fraction equal to another fraction with 100 in the denominator. Now ask yourself, how do you get from 20 to 100? You multiply by 5, right? You're going to do the same thing to the top. Now what's 15 times 5? 15 times 5 is, do your math, you have to be really careful now, 75. What's in the box is your percent. So of the girls, 75% passed. Now what I was saying earlier is if I went from here and I reduced it, 15 over 20 could be thought of as uh, 3 fourths. And you know, hey, maybe if you know that 1 fourth is 20 25%, 3 fourths makes sense as uh, 75%. Or you could have done the same thing we did before. Ask yourself, how do you go from 4 to 100? I multiply by 25. Then you do the same thing to the top, you get the 75, and that's your percent. Two different ways to think about it. All right? All right, so girls, girls leading the way with 75%. Let's make some space. What about the boys? How did the, how did the guys do? I have a feeling the guys didn't do so well. So let's see. Let's pick a new color, too. All right, thinking about this in terms of part to whole for the gentleman here. There's 20. All of all the boys. Now, six boys got a 40. Then, um, then it dropped down. Four boys got a, a 60, a 50. Sorry, what am I doing here? I got six, I got three, I got two. Six, three, two. Okay, now I'm going to add these up. I get 11 out of 20. I'm going to do the same thing I did before. 11 out of 20 is what out of 100? Well, what's my bridge? 20 times 5 gets 100, so I do the same thing to the top. 11 times 5 gets me 55. What does that mean? Well, the boys, 55 of them passed. So when I do my subtraction and I go to answer my question, what percent of the girls um, um, the question here is, the percent of girls passing the test was how much greater? How much greater usually involves a subtraction. So here's the girls, here's the boys. How many more girls passed? Well, that would get us to 20%. The answer is B. Really cool problem. Getting the information from my part whole relationship involves the data analysis and the, uh, data analysis and being able to look at the graph and interpret the graph. But then once I have the information, I got to be really confident with my fractions, decimals, and percents. So two skills essential for this type of problem and for the all the MTEL problems. Usually it's a combination of multiple skills. All right, team. Hope you found this helpful. Send in your questions. Um, Check out one of the Harvard Square MTEL Math workshops if you want some extra help on preparing for the math MTELs. Or you can go to gomath.com and sign up for some one-to-one -one tutoring. That way you can get very specific questions answered in your preparation for the math MTELs. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.